The upcoming episode of WWE SmackDown is expected to bring significant storyline progression to the Bloodline saga. This comes after the actions of Bloodline 2.0 on the recent episode of Raw, where they cost Jey Uso the Intercontinental Championship against Braun Breaker. One major prediction for the Bloodline saga on this week's SmackDown is that Roman Reigns might apologize to Jey Uso for his past actions. With the YET master suffering a loss due to Solo Sikoa's bloodline, he might appear on the Friday night show again, similar to last week. If this happens, Roman could confront Jay once more. However, this time, he might apologize for his past behavior and attempt to reconcile with Jay for an OG bloodline reunion to stand against Solo's faction. Crown Jewel 2024 is the next premium live event of WOE, and fans could witness a reunion of the Usos, with them challenging Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa for the WWE Tag Team Championship. Currently, Motor City Machine Guns and DIY are set to clash for the number one contender spot for the title. However, WWE might book Bloodline versus the winner of this number one contender's match for SmackDown before Crown Jewel. This could open the door for a match between the Usos and Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa at the Saudi Arabia show. Jay Uso might return to the blue brand again this week and eventually reunite with the OG bloodline, seeking vengeance for the loss of his intercontinental title. The best way for him to get his revenge would be to take the titles from them as they cost him the IC title. Solo Siko appeared on Raw claiming he was there to help Jay Uso retain his Intercontinental Championship against Braun Breaker. However, the YET master interpreted this differently and attacked the faction. With Jay potentially making an appearance on SmackDown this week, he might surprise everyone by choosing Solo Siko over Roman Reigns. In a twist, Jay could acknowledge Solo, stating that he doesn't want to get involved in the ongoing family drama and would rather distance himself from it. By siding with Solo, Jay might aim to prevent any future interference from the faction on Raw, allowing him to focus on his goals without distractions. Roman Reigns and Solo Sikoa's rivalry has been going on for months, yet they haven't faced each other in a singles match. However, with Reigns being brutalized over the past two weeks, he might finally challenge Solo Siko to a one-on-one -on -one match at Crown Jewel 2024. The original tribal chief could claim that Solo's dominance is due to the numbers game, but in a straight singles match, Solo wouldn't stand a chance. Paul Heyman has been absent from WWE for the past few months, but this week on SmackDown, the wise man could return to mediate between Jay Uso and Roman Reigns. As the special counsel, he is the one Roman will surely listen to in this critical situation. Heyman might try to help both understand the importance of reuniting in the company. The wise man could then attempt to resolve their conflicts, potentially leading to the reunion of the original bloodline. However, Paul might face a dilemma if both do not agree on the same terms, which could put Heyman in a position to choose between Reigns and Jay. This situation could indeed be difficult for the Hall of Famer, but it could also bring an interesting twist to the entire original bloodline reunion story. The Bloodline storyline in WWE has been one of the most compelling and intricate sagas in wrestling history. Centered around Roman Reigns, the Usos, and their trusted advisor Paul Heyman, the Bloodline has seen dramatic twists and shocking betrayals. In recent months, the story has focused on the breakdown of this once-dominant faction. With Solo Siko emerging as a pivotal player and Paul Heyman caught in the middle of a family feud, the stakes are higher than ever. As SmackDown approaches, fans are speculating on the next big moves for the bloodline. Here are five bold predictions that could unfold this week on WWE SmackDown. Paul Heyman has long been the mastermind behind Roman Reigns' unprecedented reign as WWE Universal Champion, acting as the wise man and guiding the tribal chief through every major challenge. However, with Reigns taking time away from TV in recent weeks, the power dynamics within the bloodline have shifted significantly. Solo Saika, Roman's younger cousin, has been stepping into a more central role, and Paul Heyman is now faced with a choice. Saika's rise has been steady and brutal, but without the clear direction of his cousin Roman, the cracks in the bloodline are becoming more visible. Heyman has remained loyal to Reigns, but Saika's influence is undeniable. 
The dilemma for Heyman could come to a head this week on SmackDown as Siko may confront Heyman to demand clarity on his position. Heyman, always the strategist, might attempt to walk a fine line, playing both sides to preserve his influence. However, Siko is far less patient than Roman, and his unpredictable nature may force Heyman to choose his loyalty. Will Heyman abandon his post as the right-hand man of the tribal chief to fully support Siko? Or will he stick with Roman, knowing that Reign's eventual return could reset the hierarchy? This week could be the turning point, with Heyman finally revealing his hand. A major confrontation between Heyman and Siko could set the stage for even greater chaos within the bloodline. With the ongoing collapse of the bloodline, Solo Siko has been positioning himself as a dominant force in WWE. But can he do it alone? Roman Reigns' absence creates a power vacuum, and while Siko is an enforcer, he may need allies to solidify his rule. This week on SmackDown, we could witness the emergence of a new faction led by Solo Siko. And who could Solo Siko recruit to strengthen his group? One top row star who could make the jump to SmackDown and join forces with Siko is Drew McIntyre. McIntyre's frustration with his recent bookings on Raw, as well as his dissatisfaction with being overlooked for main event opportunities, could drive him to seek new alliances. Aligning with Solo Siko would give McIntyre the edge he's been craving, while also providing Siko with a trusted ally and enforcer of his own. McIntyre's brutal, no-nonsense attitude would fit perfectly with Siko's style, and together, they could be an unstoppable force on SmackDown. A move to join Siko's faction would not only give him Sintai fresh momentum, but also elevate Siko's stature as a leader, effectively creating a new era of dominance on the blue brand.